Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. There are bad days, there are bad weeks, then there are legendary bad weeks. One Monday morning you wake up and you start feeling that from that moment on all will go wrong. <laughs> Today is Tuesday and I can assure you, I can swear that it is true. Yesterday morning I had that feeling and at work with my car, with my new 2021 project from that moment everything started going wrong Most probably I should have stayed in bed till next Monday but unfortunately I can't afford it So I will try to go on with some more tasks but I will go slower because during weeks such as this week I'm aware that everything I will touch will go wrong I will do a mess with everything but I need to go ahead at least I will need to finish the fountain here I will try to first make the wall or something like that to hide the pump that is too visible right now then finish it yes maybe yes maybe no i don't know then i will go on with the columns because during the last minutes of my previous video i told you that i will go and do uh, some columns with the mold i shown you and then and then if i'm still alive I don't know, let's cross fingers. I will go ahead and start building the harbor, a pier, a, some docks here, because it is essential for the overall life of a wharf section to have a good looking and working uh, harbor, pier, dock. I don't know. So I will also try and I will also don't know if I will be able to do it but because I will go on and test a new technique but uh, it's time to this intro simply because I am starting to lose my words so go ahead now maybe you remember that I still have this piece of uh, uh, extrude the styrofoam here to complete in some way. I will be using this to hide the pump that it is actually placed into the fountain. I need something to hide the pump. So I was thinking about a wall. Generally a wall, if it is in plain view, plain sight, I tend to carve into the styrofoam and then paint the styrofoam. But this will be inside a, a fountain uh, submerged by water. I was thinking, why not doing something easy, something quick. So I printed out a pattern, a mosaic pattern here. Uh, let me cut it. <laughs> Yes, but here I just uh, uh, hide the brand here. I have a tube with a crystal clear material inside and it's in soft. This is not silicon sealant. This is not acetic acid based silicon sealant. It is a polymeric glue, a polymer, it is a mixture of different plastics, okay? But it's fluid, it's not 
hard or dense. It is fluid. It is used as glue and also as a sealant, obviously, but uh, uh, it's different. It don't smell at all. It has a dry time of 10 to 15 minutes and it is a polymer. In this case, polymer, I will put it here in the corner. Let's say it's enough, no, some more. Okay. Uh, yes, it doesn't smell at all. It's sticky, yes, because it is anyway polymer. It is almost uh, very, very, very sticky and almost dense. But the difference between silicon and this polymer here is that you can use more uh, isopropylic alcohol, isopropanol, on the polymer here. And the mixture of polymer. Now it will become a little less uh, stickier. Okay. And I can, oops, I can also have some more. I just need it to be as workable as possible. Okay, yes, and then I will take it and I will place it there. I only need to pay attention to cover all the surface. I will simply need to wait uh, uh, some 15 to let's say 20 minutes to be sure and then I mm, will apply it uh, into the uh, fountain okay uh, uh, now something else guys let's go well 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 so next uh, argument of this part five of the new season series will focus on calms, guys. Simply because if I have an ancient Greek park, I need to have plenty of them. Pure, simple columns, damaged columns, aged columns, broken columns, every kind of columns. So I will need to make some of them and a quite bunch of them actually. What I will be using, I will be using of course a mold here, some modeling clay and I've choose the uh, white modeling clay simply because I will need to paint it once everything has dried and so if it's not white I can't achieve the desired color I want. Then I will, be, I will use some skewers a knife, more precisely a ceramic knife, because I will need to cut some very precise angles right there, okay? Then I will use some water and some corn flour. Here I have some corn flour. I've said corn flour, not with flour. Corn flour is more, is more suitable for this job because it will prevent the uh, modeling clay to stick to glue onto the mold and the fingers. <laughs> anyway, I will do a mess, I want just to advise you. And, uh, uh, but the wheat flour will stick to the uh, modeling clay and also to the uh, mold here. 
uh, without counting that I'm also using some water and <laughs> with a uh, flower and water will make some glue. I don't want that. The mold itself. With this mold I can build two kinds of columns. First kind here, second kind here. Here, here we have a plain simple columns in just one precise piece with a bottom and a top. Here we have a second kind of columns divided in one, two, three, four, five, six segments, elements. I don't know if you can see that there are elements inside here, such as real columns, then a bottom and a top. I will surely go with this kind of columns here because I like it more this way. But you are free to use whatever you want. Um, yes, there is. There are also uh, complete shaped uh, mold out there. Then you just need to buy them and then pour inside it some liquid silicon. Uh, or anything you want, and you will obtain a perfect mold of a Greek column. Yes, but then if you want a, uh, the column to be divided in some pieces, you want a broke column, you can work very well with already made uh, stamps. Sorry, with already made stamp and complete 3D stamp mold of a uh, uh, column. Here, yes, you have the problem that this is designed for cake design, so you just simply need to have alpha column and then you will apply the column like that all around the cake. It is not uh, made for having complete uh, 3D uh, columns, but it is symmetrical, so you just need to do two times the same work and you can obtain a complete full uh, column and that's that what I will uh, show you okay uh, I think I've said everything about that yes let's go with uh, the first column and so I will get uh, some <clears throat> modern clay as I already told you but first I will go and take uh, a little of uh, corn flour and I will do this okay in order to prevent the um, the main plate to stick onto the mold itself let's have some main plate okay and let's see no it's not enough With this quantity here, yes, I will work it a couple of times, then some more flour here. Okay, then I will simply apply it onto the mold like that. And then I will push hard towards the exterior there, okay? If I am doing some error, like in this case, I simply need to take the column and redo the same process once again. I still have some problems with my fingers, they are still sticky. Okay, let's go once again. start to remove a part of it like that then also from the other side I will need to go slightly under 
the border level, otherwise the column will not be perfectly rounded, perfectly circular, but I risk to have a, a normal column of one is okay. So I will go under the border there from this side too. Okay, and I will remove once again here and then also here. Now it is time to unmold the first part of the column. Okay. And it is time to check the column. I don't know if you can see it correctly. I have some scratches here and there, but it is intended to be like that because this is supposed to be a node ancient column. Some flower here, and then let's go. Okay, now. Let's repeat the procedure once again. This is modeling clay. If I make a column like that and I replace the column vertically, the column will collapse simply because it um, the, um, we need many hours before the um, the, before the modeling clay become hard enough to stay alone, to stand up alone, okay? So I will take a skewer and I will try to place it in the middle. Okay, now I can go, go and unmold the second half of the column. Okay, here we have the second half. And then I will do this. I will use some water here yeah, in order to have a, a, a glue effect with the modeling clay, then I will get the second half of the column and I will do the same thing and then I will go this way Okay, and I will try with the help of the water to get it more together and to hide wherever I have the connection between the two half columns. Here I have maybe too much, I will not cut it, I will try to adjust it with my hands. Okay, and now I will let it dry for some minutes. Let's 
go with the um, with the bottom. Okay. All I want that something, baby, cause I can go without. Mama used to tell me love it right if it ain't easy, but I'm in too deep to walk away from you. Papa used to tell me. try to go through the middle there okay and it's starting to have a good look okay now same thing for the top Some gap. You can see that it is a mansion column. Okay, here too. Okay, bottom column, top here. Okay. Uh, it is also very heavy because it does a good amount of water inside the inside the bead to dry. So this is how I will proceed. Uh, I will put them in a safe place to dry uh, with some supports. Otherwise, they will dry carpet, carpet, and then uh, and then I will paint it. Uh, I will paint them successively. Okay. So these are the columns I will be using uh, uh, all around my ancient Greek park. And I don't need them to be perfect because they are supposed to have at least 1,800 years, maybe 2,500 2, years, yes, so old. Resisted, yes, but also very old, okay? And uh, this way you can go with the same thing with the other one. Uh, you can go with just uh, half a part 
of the bottom alpha part of the top and then we glue them together or just go up the columns and we'll have four fell down and we'll put it right there and uh, so on you will you have just to be creative and you can go with any any form you want any form of column you want uh, complete uh, or pieces uh, half there and then half here put together roughly roughly fragmented everyone everything and broken columns uh, yes but also remember to do or to have also broken uh, tops and broken bottoms okay and I think uh, it is time to proceed with uh, some other argument in this part 5. See you in just some seconds. Oh no, no, please, no. I just, I forgot to show you the dimension and this time I have Zeus, Jupiter, sorry, not Poseidon or Hera, okay? This is Zeus and if I place it there, the dimension, you can appreciate that the figurines is higher than the standard uh, Christmas Village figurines and then the column is higher than uh, the gold itself so it will bring all around a good effect okay so now it is really whole <laughs> by now we have certainly figured out that this part of five of the new series will be fragmented in many tasks <laughs> i will be doing a lot of things at once and it's finally time to talk about the harbor the docks let me just introduce you the wooden bridge I have here. Some of you may remember that it is a wooden bridge I used for a little section of my railroads to support uh, tracks. Okay, uh, I made it using a piece of styrofoam material thickness of 9 millimeters. This obviously is extruded styrofoam. Then I marked all the dimension I wanted for the planks before using my small little soldering station to carve into it and simulate the wood. Sometimes almost regularly, sometimes very irregularly and very gentle to have different um, texture on the wooden bridge. Then the downside is simply applying some other pieces of uh, styrofoam. This year I could have used the same technique, of course, it's simply wood. I could have used this technique to build uh, the wharf, to build the harbor, to build the docks. But I wanted to go from stretch, scratch, sorry, as if I was building it in real life. And I needed some raw materials. So, as always, you know that my preferred uh, raw materials is extruded styrofoam, at least for for at least for uh, small construction, uh, small street furniture, these, these things, these kind of things, okay? So I took a piece of styrofoam having a 9 millimeters of thickness and I cut it in the middle. So now I have a piece of 4.5 millimeters thick, uh, thick styrofoam. In this case, I have 1 centimeters by 15 centimeters. 10 millimeters by 115 millimeters, and on top of each piece, I use as always my bowl of tin foil in order to age somehow the uh, planks here. The, the, those will be my planks, my planks for the uh, docks for the uh, hardboard. Uh, those pieces there are 1 cm, 10 mm by 7 cm, 70 mm, same technique as before. But I'm not really satisfied. Obviously I pre-cut all of them with my uh, styrofoam cutting table and it is too tedious to show, but very, very easy. You have seen me multiple times using my cutting table. Uh, so I was saying, I am I am not satisfied with how aged they are. Maybe 
this is should if it is supposed to have a hundred years maybe these dogs these uh, harbor is supposed to have so many years and uh, they are too sharp the lines are too sharp the uh, in the corner are too sharp so let me introduce you my little box of secrets i took some very sharp for me at least people i have as uh, my raw materials i have plenty of different types of raw materials uh, accumulated uh, all along the years uh, those are people found on the side of a little river fortunately where i live i am surrounded by mountains with plenty of rivers everywhere so during the um, summer I, uh, i'm going sometimes trying to find some new raw materials so I took some people's not very heavy because I don't want to manage anything uh, to damage sorry not to manage to damage anything some are very sharp uh, some are some more rounded some are like um, sanding paper okay very very uh, rough okay and let me put inside of this magic box my let's start with the small pieces of styrofoam the shorter one okay then okay i took small ones and uh, uh, not very heavy in order not to crack everything and broke everything it could happen yes it could happen let me close it now I will surely mute everything because this is going to be very, very, very noisy and I'm going to get up, obviously, and then I will go in up, down, left, right in order to uh, age them even more. Let's go, let's start. Okay, I think it's enough. I'm gonna sit down and let's try to open it. And let's take a look to what I have inside. Uh, do we have some one that have broke? No, no broken ones, but they are somehow aged a little more with some holes, little holes on, into them and the the corners are not that sharp anymore instead of using a cutter or something else to refill everything uh, redoing everything once again i went with this new technique uh, i'm not all satisfied uh, yet let me continue for some more uh, seconds okay i will go for some more seconds let's go Yes, okay. Some of them have already been damaged, okay. But uh, okay, let me just do what with those other ones. Those are more fragile. I wish to really break them, okay. Let's go with those one too. Let's see. Yes, okay. Okay. I think we are good. I didn't want them to be 
too sharp and too new. The corners are being rounded. Okay. Let's remove the small one also. Yes. Look here. Very, very rounded, no more sharp. I can show you how sharp they, they are uh, as new, okay? This one is ju has just been cut. They are so, um, so sharp. The, every corner is so sharp, okay? Obviously, once uh, I glue them together, I will also have to go with uh, some uh, uh, carving. Yes, I have to. Now, let's get serious. I need to clean here. I have some dust. Okay, I need some support. I don't know if you are seeing there, so I will go here. And I will need some support. If it ain't easy, but I'm in too deep to walk away from you. Papa used to tell me love should never drive you crazy, but I lose my mind if you
to the um, to the um, harbor. Okay, let's go and some eight. Okay. Okay, I cut some random piece of wood there, okay, and they will go like there. <clears throat> but first, I need to check if I can glue them together. Okay, okay, I need some support. Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help Yay. Okay, so this is the first uh, part done. Uh, I cut uh, some footage simply because I had to change uh, operating mode while I'm I was working because otherwise it won't will I will have to wait too much time and it was very very not stable unstable. So how <coughs> I decided to work. I decided to work with. Uh, <clears throat> some double sided tape here and I'm going you always make me feel like okay you never leave my thoughts alone yeah you you're the reason I'm going out of my mind I just can't stop thinking about you Yeah, maybe a break, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you three days checking on them but finally they are dry enough to be painted because now it is time to start painting the cones and I have some of them here not all of them uh, the color <laughs> big problem uh, in ancient history in ancient Greece 
uh, when they were first built, they were completely white. They were shining white. Uh, and the rest of the temples were red, blue. Okay? They <laughs> It is time for the black wash. What is a black wash? A black wash is nothing else than <laughs> a very small amount of black acrylic color and a big amount of clean uh, water. Uh, if it is too, uh, too dark, too black, I will go over and over pouring on the sink uh, the mixture, then adding some water, then pouring, then adding until I have the correct uh, color, I think. Then I will use a very, very, very soft brush here. You can see that it is very, very soft. And I will go uh, with uh, the mix of water and black acrylic color. But it will also be a mess. So I will put, uh, ah, yes, and the colors are dried out, guys. You can see that my Fingers are almost clean because I haven't had time to clean really my fingers I will and wash my hands correctly at least. So I will put every and single one columns inside these container, plastic containers because otherwise I will do uh, um, I will do a mess and I will go this way. I will go and pick some water. Make sure then I will go this way. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Upside down, guys. Sorry. And I will go very gentle. You're the reason I can't get out of my head. I just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. dry for a moment it has already started the sticking on the on the plastic container guys because uh, this is what happened with the clay once you pour on it some more water okay then I will decide if I need some more dry uh, some more uh, black wash or not guys okay so see you in just some minutes uh, I think it has been 20 minutes. Oops, okay. I think they are almost done. I left here a piece of the original color. I don't know if you can appreciate the color right now. Okay, the difference between the two. Okay, black here, there, okay. More aged yes uh, it is um, Victorian era uh, civilization so um, based on coke and not coke as the soda guys coke as in the uh, mine mined coke so everything was based on carbon okay coke or carbon 
and trains go, were going on carbons, on coke and everything else. Industry was going with uh, electricity made by uh, coke, carbon, okay? And so very black, very dirty, very uh, black dust all, ar all around. With the water, everything tends to be very, very, very uh, black and dirt. Okay, this one too, some more black here. Okay, and the clay here, look, it tends to get very soft. So, uh, this one too, oops, okay, and everything else. Okay, the difference here, okay. Let's continue with an update on the harbor, on the docks, on the pier. I don't know any names for the same object here. I left with the, the two sections here, the squared section here and the L section here that needed to dry them, with the glue that needed to dry. Uh, and you also seen that I needed to, I had to change my assembly technique simply because it was uh, trying to get the uh, the pylons here, the wood pylons here, uh, perfectly vertical Why uh, the glue was uh, drying. So I had to change and use some double-sided tape that uh, will need to be painted over, but hey, anyways, all the pylons uh, were, need to be uh, painted <laughs> in some way or another. Uh, so, a mm, change of uh, assembly technique, but here is the result. Maybe I can show you the profile here, okay? <clears throat> Maybe you are seeing the profile, I don't know, let's go. Yes, like this you can see it. So this is the, let's say, the first level, the ground level, with some stairs that will come uh, from the beach, I think, down there. And then here maybe some activity there then i needed to climb a little bit in order to get access to the uh, boats and the boats will be there my golden eagle will be here so i needed so no pylons from this side here no pylons at all from this side here but instead i've uh, hid uh, a couple of uh, super pylons under uh, the wood there and here you don't have any any support at all. Uh, these uh, all entire section here need to be free from everything because the boats needs to be there. Sorry, I have some uh, color on my no. What is this? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the profile that uh, is done. So I have a different levels here. I start with a level at. 2.5 centimeters over the water here, from here, from down there to the top here, I have 2.5 centimeters. Then the higher section here is 4.5 centimeters. So a climbing effect of 4.5 centimeters. I had to insert uh, some small pieces of styrofoam in order to get uh, this section here, uh, this section here glued to this section, this other section, so pylons. Uh, those two little pylons f um, that are for, from this section uh, glued together with those big pylons that are from the uh, higher section glued together with some uh, styrofoam here and there uh, that will need to be painted. And so some double-sided tape still visible here and there. I can't rem remove it because it is uh, uh, the, the, because the glue has uh, uh, poured on top of uh, the double-sided tape, but uh, with some uh, brown and everything else. Here is the back here, uh, the support, here the support, and there it is the inclined section here, going from this level here. I don't know if you can see it going from the lowest level to, no, going from the lowest level to the higher level here. Uh, far from being finished, still uh, some uh, um, still many things to do and i wanted a difference in the shapes of each planks there with some here uh, much more space between them here less space 
And with the technique I've used last year concerning the, the wooden bridge I've shown you, it wasn't really possible like that. But every uh, angle here, every corner have been uh, uh, rounded, have been aged by the technique I've used for the, uh, with the uh, pebbles inside the box. Still need some work to do and I will try to do it right now because I need some veins. In the, yes, the, um, the pebbles have done an excellent work on aging everything and once it, once it is painted uh, you will see the different scratches on the wood but I still need some uh, veins, some wood veins here and there. I will test my, here I have, I hope you can see it, yes, my uh, little old uh, soldering station, it was, uh, it has uh, some years now. I set to the minimum uh, the, the temperature and I will try to see if uh, it is good to carve into, into the wood like that. Into the wood, into, yes, I'm convinced that this is wood, into the styrofoam or if I needed to go up with the temperature. No, it's not enough hot. Let's go a little higher, let's wait for some seconds that the temperature get higher. Then uh, once I've done some veins here and there, I still need to do much more work, I still need to add some more woods there, I need to add a ladder here in order to get to the small bolts there, the stairs here I have already told you, here maybe some other things, I don't know yet, and this, uh, the only Think I'm sure of that this section here, this long section here, will be free of anything. Okay, and then I will need to add some ropes. Yes, some ropes will come with it. Uh, yes, let's try again with the higher temperature. Okay, we are there. Let's try on this one new. I think the temperature is good. Let's go. into the, uh, the styrofoam okay uh, so uh, I want to let you see so let's start uh, with some painting first black then everything else as always the darkest first then everything else okay just a few seconds I will take my brushes and my acrylic colors so here I am uh, some uh, black that I've uh, uh, added with some water. Let me check if it is good. And I will go. Yes, it is good. And I will go this way. Falling down in an ocean. A whole life was an ocean. I still believe you're counting on me.
ready to dry okay and now it's time to go with some brown I need to restock my brown here and for the brown I will go with some not too dense color and I will go if the veins are there I will go the opposite way 90 degrees okay let's have a try Another broken plate, another called off date We never seem to get it right Another heart attack, words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you Sorry guys, I had to change the battery because uh, the camera died a few seconds ago. Now, uh, I think it has already dried out. Let me do some finishing here. I'm going with some uh, Sienna colors, okay? Very, very small amount. And I'm going totally dry brush. You make me lose my mind like all the time Some water on the uh, food may cause some IC effect, uh, especially around the borders. So as always, I'm going with some dry brush along the borders. Okay. Yours, baby, let's talk until we're fine. You've been in bed for days, empty without me, you say. Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor, and I feel okay. We just made it through, and I love the way I feel for you, mm, baby. Just for comparison, here is the last year uh, wooden bridge. I went with some less uh, uh, white on top of it, simply because uh, um, it is supposed to be animated, to be full, to be full of uh, people, of uh, docking people, uh, docks people. I don't know how it is pronounced uh, uh, the name correctly. People that works on the docks, okay? Uh, docks workers, all right. <laughs> and um, so uh, here is the result. Not far uh, from the from last year result. And uh, okay, so black, brown, sienna, uh, white, and that's all. Okay, thank you. 
the final recap before closing even this part five of the new series. And yes, the fountain is not finished yet. Two things about the fountain. The first one I haven't shown you on camera simply because I forgot to film it. I had uh, one more layer of two components epoxy resin on the base there and now it sounds even more plastic but doing that I've uh, waterproofed it 100% uh, and I have no more water spilling there or there, no more drops getting into the uh, fountain. Just the main uh, water source here and the two secondary left and right with less water uh, going through them. And uh, yes, the water is a little troubled, not because uh, something is losing color, but simply because the glue there and the glue I used here uh, go uh, mm, fall into the uh, fountain and now is troubling the, the water. I need to change it. But hey, the second thing, the wall, the mosaic wall I just made and added here in order to hide the pump. It's working the new technique of using the polymer sealant and the paper uh, isn't absolutely wet, so no uh, color is this color, no, no uh, ink uh, has been discolored there. Okay, and I will use this technique uh, some more times in future, but I'm not totally convinced about the wall there. I need to think about it, but with the wig, I just add. Uh, let's uh, go ahead with this for the moment. Let's go up for some, ta-da, I'm going a little far me back, okay? I have one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five columns. Ten columns, five from each side of uh, um, Jupiter, of uh, uh, Zeus, and... Uh, uh, every one is evenly uh, separated. They, they have an even distance between them al uh, along the red arc of circle I made last time. Let's go and have a look closely. You can see that uh, uh, the uh, black wash uh, worked. I have uh, some colors. Okay, let me just bring to you this one and I will show you in some lights there i have uh, the black uh, wash done correctly and uh, also the color is uh, on top of it right there maybe i should go ahead yes and the column is uh, not perfect but almost a good uh, color and i placed them with some uh, good columns some broken columns but hey, there are the, all the 10 columns and I still have some pieces uh, to add here and there, but this is the first preview of what will be the ancient Greek part there with some more things with the statues, the other statues, the other god statues all along the other um, arc of circle there. Okay, so even from this side, I can show you, okay. Uh, with the Jupiter at this place there, okay? So, now, from the other side, one more thing I have did with this part 5 of the new series. The Harbor, the Pier, the Docks, and I've also used my Golden Eagle there. What I was just telling you, let me show you from another angle too from this angle okay let's go and from here too i needed to leave this side here of the um arbor in and touch it with no pylons here with no such pylons because i knew that this will go against the boat in order to get here and the eight is almost perfect with the goods going here over the border here and getting right on top of it. So 
2.5 centimeters from the water to the first level and 4.5 centimeters from the water to the second level here. Still needed to do some uh, something for the uh, pylons here to add some more um, uh, silicon sealant there because I needed to hide the pylons under the water and from this side too you can see uh, so uh, here I will have some stairs going, going up there and then here then here something more and from this side here I think I will add a little ladder in order to get into the water and going somewhere else uh, still need to add plenty of ropes here and there and uh, some more things but hey uh, still need to perfection it but as a first time using this technique i don't think it is a bad result at all let's go i think i can go with another angle there okay good so uh i'm still alive after all that happened this during this week and also with the mess i've done with the with the colors and everything else I know I made uh, multiple mistakes during this week, even doing my uh, project here. So, uh, see you for the outro. Thank you. As you have just witnessed, even a cake design mode is useful if you wanted to get something new for your Christmas village. It's just a matter of searching, then searching, then continuing searching, then searching again, and sooner or later you will discover something strange, something never thought before, that will bring you up there a new <laughs> extravagant idea. Uh, and for the armor section, yes, new techniques, both are all the new techniques starting from scratch and using whole uh, raw materials, but you can achieve it if you want. Uh, I'm way behind schedule and last year, the same days, I was way ahead with my project. But hey, today is Sunday. So this cursed week will end in just some hours. And next week I will certainly be more productive. So please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.